Find insight, guidance, and answers. Answers. Tune into Spirit with Radio Medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into Miss Erica Spirit. Welcome. Hi. How are you? I'm good, Erica. Thank you for asking. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from New York City. First of all, I see a gentleman come into my view. He's got glasses on. Looks like he had gone balding. Paternal figure to you. Love to joke. It could be my grandfather's from my dad's side. I know he had a sense of humor, but he died before I was born. And I've never seen a photo of him either. Oh, you haven't? Who's got an F or T in the initials, honey? Yeah, him. Then that's who I'm with. That's interesting. So you've never met him, but that does happen. I get the sense that he was being a buffer zone or somebody was being a buffer zone against him or if he was being a buffer zone because there was somebody who wasn't available. Maybe it was him or maybe it was the other parent because of some sort of substance abuse. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, the substance abuse. Yeah, something about him and alcohol. Oh, and so your dad's mom was kind of a buffer zone. Yeah, my family's very secretive. They don't speak, and my entire family lives in Australia. Let me ask this. Who's the single parent? I suppose my grandma was, because my grandfather died so young, and she had to bring up 14 children on her own. And so your dad was watched over by a single mom? Yeah, definitely. All right, and you are far, you know, away from your family. He's one of your guides. And one of the things he would do, I think, from what he's showing me here is take money out of his pocket whenever he could and hand it over to the kids. Do you like to get your nails done, honey? Yes, I do. (laughs) He wants you to know because I feel like sometimes things are so tight for you. And so when this money gets into your pocket and I want to say it's coming from him, you go get your nails done to make yourself feel better. Oh, that's very sweet of me. So you aren't alone where you think you are. Because sometimes you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Yeah, I feel very isolated here. But it's very good to know that he's a good. I always think about him. And the other thing, too, is you felt called to where you are because of a relationship. That's interesting. I mean, so far, it's okay, my relationship. But yeah, I mean, I've been asking for a new community. So that probably explains that. What about love, honey? Yeah, I've been married for a long time. And me and my husband are still quite good friends, even though it's been almost 25 years. So you guys both moved there together? Yes, we did. I guess that he's also putting it in this terms that somebody else in the family, and I want you to think about this, who is struggling with a very similar dynamic because it passes down the line. Okay, I do know my sister's having issues a marriage. I don't know the details of it, but she did tell me that much. Maybe it's something you can relate to her. Your dad was a jokester too. He took on that trait that was probably his best trait. Oh yeah, she's very funny. It was a pleasure. Thank you for sharing your time with me, Erica. Thank you, Laura. That was pretty amazing. You're welcome. And if you'd like to call into the show, like Erica, sign up at RadioMediumLauraLee.com where you can find more about services and upcoming events to support our show. And you can tune into your spirit each and every day by subscribing to the podcast. Please share it and join the conversation over at Radio Medium Laura Lee Facebook group. I'd love to hear from you.